Hello everyone, it's me as always Venger and today we are here with a big video cause the new Quake patch just came out today and there are a lot of changes, a lot of quality changes. I would say that it's probably one of the biggest Quake patches we have had in recent years. So grab a snack and let's get started. So let's scroll quickly on the changes. I want you to focus on all the changes but that you can see but the main focus is gonna be engine updates. Uh, we have a new FPS cap, the packet rate has been increased to 200 to 300 cap, so the cap FPS and the max packet rate are now synced together. Max uh, lag compensation has been reduced from 300 ms to 200 ms. Nvidia Reflex is back. We have a champion update with kill having reduced delay between grenades, so this is a buff for kill. Some weapon updates, starting shotgun and super shotgun, we have some increased knockback. Uh, this is actually a very big change, I would say, for competitive with the shotgun. We have bot updates, we have now time late duels uh, available against bots, sound updates, game updates, and anti cheat updates. So let's focus on the first main point, which is gonna be set uh, the new FPS cap. Okay, so in this part of the video, I want to test two things. First of all, Let's put FPS cap to 240. Uh, not this, this. So remember that I'm recording on the same PC. So now the FPS cap in game, it's very stable. And I want to see if I disable NVIDIA reflex. Okay, one drop, one FPS drop. I'm still recording the video on the same PC, so clearly. Not the best for smoothness, but the FPS cap is very stable now. Let's go to 250. Again, no drops whatsoever. Looks very smooth right now. And last, let's try 300 FPS cap. I'm recording, but it's totally perfect. So... This is actually awesome. I remember in the past patch, I needed to use Riva Turner or something else, like NVIDIA FPS cap from the NVIDIA control panel. But now again, we are back and we can use the in-game cap. So props to Syncarer for the work about the engine cap. So what changes? In the past, you could increase this number. You could put like a What's infinite on? number. But what? That was the problem because it was causing a lot of issues when you were higher FPS than the other player. Like if the other player had capped FPS to, I don't know, 250 and the other player was using like 500, 600, 700 cap or unlimited cap, it was creating some issues with knockback, with uh, engine overall. So now everyone can only cap to 300 and hopefully some of the issues we had in the past will get fixed by this change, which is probably the biggest change in this, uh, in this patch. So another very important thing that I want to show you is the new advanced video settings. Right now I have everything on low, so I'm testing everything on the low, uh, on the low settings. Usually I play with lighting on high, but for the sake of testing and streaming, I'm gonna use everything off. So bloom and flares. Usually we all don't use it. Uh, it's like the flares with the LG when you are like uh, aiming, when you are like hitting someone. I think the biggest change is weapon effects and I'm gonna show you why. So this is a rocket explosion. Do you see all these effects, right? Now look if I disable this one. Do you see how it instantly uh, disappears? And when you're fighting against someone and they're spamming rockets, like this setting here, like, it's actually very good for clarity, I would say. And it's the same for every other weapon. Like, this is the new Tribalt, by the way. And this is the new LG. So, like, it instantly disappears. So, like, when someone is spamming a door, like, usually, like, uh, there is, like, this fight on a walking, especially, like, this, you are pushing here, and the other guy is spamming. But now we have way more clarity because of the new this new change. So then we have uh, uh, water caustic effects. 
by the way for your knowledge if you ov uh, over like uh, over the uh, option sorry for my English you can also see like what it does you know so this one toggle water caustic effects and walls so running pools of liquid this one screen space reflection on maps where there is like the space uh, this is uh, transparent particles enable fog this one I think it's gonna be very important to have off uh, light shot effects I think it's I'm not sure what it's gonna be let me see if okay this is the normal shaft what uh, what does it do if I disable it I'm blind but I don't think it's changing anything okay I'm not sure but uh, with more testing I will figure it out so I was running around and I noticed that the Abbey feels like it looks more smaller compared to the past. I don't know if it's placebo or I'm going crazy because I'm getting older, obviously, but it looks smaller to me. I don't know why. I didn't see this change in the, in the uh, change logs. Well, we will see uh, in the future if this is something I'm noticing or just... Uh, getting older probably so we have a change to the starting shotgun starting weapons in general and also like a super shotgun starting shotgun got a bit of a nerf I'm gonna show you to you like uh, in the video this the shotgun instead got a buff I would say because now there is knockback like increased knockback on the shotgun so I think this weapon is gonna be like uh, way more used uh, like it was already very like uh, used but I think now people are gonna use it more the starting nail gun, I'm gonna show you. Now it does 12 damage instead of 10. So we will see if people are gonna choose it over the starting machine gun. I doubt. I think the starting machine gun is still the best starting weapon by far. It does such an amount of damage that it just doesn't make sense. I will be up for some nerf uh, for the starting machine gun. Also, we have the new change with the rocket. Increase the splash damage, twice reversal from 10 units to 16 units. I think this is not uh, splash damage in general. It's more like when you are hugging a floor or a door, like, uh, like this, I think. I haven't tested it properly, but I think that's what, what, what is it about, because I don't think this, the splash in general is like, like when you're hitting the rockets on the stairs, it's like increasing the damage. Like, like the cover you can get is like less now so it, it is indeed a rocket splash damage but not like when you're fighting open in the open like like this it's more like when you are close to the stairs or something like that another big change that i cannot show you right now because it's more of high ping uh, thing is like the lag compensation got reduced so now we should see less around the corner rails less around the corners uh, LG especially with people with very high ping it goes reduced from 300 ms to 200 ms that's 100 ms millisecond in uh, lag compensation reduction and that's such a big deal for people playing with high ping so we will see how it will mix up with the, the quick pro league online and we will see it if we will benefit from it online uh, so this is like very hard test, uh, we need to play a lot of duels, especially against high pingers, but a change uh, for the netcode is always good, in my opinion. Kills nades, you can spam them faster, I believe it went from 500 ms to 400 ms uh, delay between each nade. So since kill has been like the least played champion in the whole uh, league, I think this change is not the bad. Uh, right now, this is the speed of the nades. Here come the fireworks. So a little bit of a buff. I'm happy for kill. Like he didn't really get played that much, but now uh, obviously it's uh, it's gonna be maybe better for him. I still doubt this change is gonna make that big of a difference, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Another very big changes, and this one is for the newbies, for like players that are like trying to learn duel. This one is so important because now. You can finally learn respawns playing against bots because now you can duel against bots what i suggest you to do is create a duel put the bot on nightmare why nightmare because they respawn faster 
so you don't have to wait like three four seconds for him to respawn now you can like chase respawns in like one to two seconds because of the nightmare and so i'm gonna put clutch i'm gonna put an easy target to kill right i'm gonna start a duel and i'm gonna show you how it looks like So now I'm gonna show you why playing against bots is very useful for the beginners. So now let's kill this clutch and if you want to learn the spawn points, we can you can do it now playing like this. So now we will kill him, right? Okay, so now we stand here, we wait 3 seconds and we force the respawn, he's gonna spawn here, alright? Now we wait 3 seconds. He's gonna spawn on rocket. All right, and you can do it over and over and over again. Instead of w having to uh, play against a friend, you can now do it against the bot. And this is a big change, I would say, for newcomers that want to learn the spawns properly. So again, let's kill him. So now we're gonna force him on machine gun. You see? So now we're gonna force him on nail. Now we're gonna force him on rocket. So now we're gonna force him on nail again. You see? And you can do it in every map. If you have seen my videos about respawns, they are still the same respawn, so you can just learn them like this. So since a lot of people are interested in vanities, we're also gonna cover this in this video. We have a new podium over there the summer podium then we have the new lighting gun the summer blast we have also a new tribal the sunrise 69 so tribal and lg are the new uh, skins we have a new vanity for anarchy which is a new skateboard skin this one i am on low graphics so it doesn't look that good but on ultra it probably looks way better we have a new Nyx vanity, the, uh, what is it, the sun hat. And then we have also a new BJ, I think, vanity, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is the, fi the fisherman hat. Yeah. So we have those three new vanities, two new weapons and one new podium, if you're interested in all those like skins in the game. So that was the recap, I will maybe get into de detail when I play more duels with this new like uh, lag compensation and FPS cap Where now I just wanted to show you the new update, like what it does it bring to the table We are free to try it out, Quick Champions is always free to play for everyone, you don't need to pay anything, it's totally free And hope you have fun and hope you have a good experience with the new Quick Patch and I'll see you on my uh, live streams